Good morning, everybody. Hi. My bowl of coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so welcome to day four of 100 ways to motivate yourself. So as you know, over the course of the next 100 days, I'm sharing with you a lesson out of um, this book that I'm studying as a part of my life coach training. And it's by Stephen Chandler, and it's called 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself. And today's number four of 100, obviously. Um, and you guys, this is good. This is so good. I hope you guys can hear me because everybody's sleeping here. It's Christmas break. And I'm hiding in the bathroom still because, well, my family's around and I don't want to have to clean my, my house to do these lives. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm just going to dive in. So number four is keep your eyes on the prize. You guys, today is gold. I'm going to be reading it to you. So if you're getting ready for work or whatever, just hit the phone down and listen so you don't got to look at all this. All right. So keep your eye on the prize. Most of us never really focus. If you think about it, none of us really focus on any just one thing at a time. Even right now, probably as you're listening to this, you're probably doing something else at the same time. So that first point is so poignant and there might be a lesson for you in that. So most of us never really focus. We constantly feel a kind, feel a kind of irritating psychic chaos because we keep trying to think of too many things at one time. Does that resonate with anybody? Trying to think of too many things at one time. There's always too much up there on the screen. <clears throat> there was an interesting motivational talk on the subject given by the former Dallas Cowboys coach, Jimmy Johnson, to his football players before the 1993 Super Bowl. Oh my God, you guys, this is gold. I hope you're, hope you're listening and appreciate these because I am, totally am. This is what Jimmy Johnson said. This is a quote. I told them that if I laid a two by four across the room, everybody there would walk across it and would not fall because our focus would be that would be that we are not that we're going to walk across a two by four. So Jimmy Johnson saying to his football team, hey, if I laid a two by four right here on the floor and you guys walked across it, you wouldn't have any problems walking across it because your focus would not be on the fact that you were going to fall. Your focus would be on the fact that you're going to walk by uh, across a two by four. But if I put that same two by four, 10 stories high between two building, buildings, only a few would make it across. And that's because the focus would be more on the falling. The focus wouldn't be on the success. The focus would be on the failure. Focus is everything. The team that is more focused today is the team that will win this game. You guys, that's powerful if you think about it in your own life. Are you focusing on what you don't want to have happen or what you are afraid is going to happen? Or are you, afraid, are you focusing on your failures or your past mistakes or you're focusing on thoughts in the future that of things that haven't even happened? You're just playing scenarios. You're focusing on the wrong thing. Jimmy Johnson told this to his team not to be distracted by Jimmy Johnson. Let me just start over. Jimmy Johnson, <laughs> it's a tongue twister, told his team not to be distracted by the crowd, the media, or the possibility of losing, but to focus on each play of the game itself, just as if it were a good practice session. The Cowboys won that game 52 to 17. There's a point to that story that goes way beyond football. Most of us tend to lose our focus in life because we're perpetually worried about so many negative possibilities. Rather than focusing on, on the two by four, we worry about the ramifications of falling. Rather than focusing on our goals, we are distracted by our worries and our fears. But when we focus on what we want, it will come into your life. When you focus on being a happy and motivated person, that is who you will be. So the message to all of us today is focus on the good, focus on the goal, focus on doing the right thing, and focus on just where you need to be in this moment as opposed to everything else. There are times in your life where you have got to turn the volume off. Stop letting the crowd distract you. 
Focus on, on what you want and it will come into your life. What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the negative or are you focusing on the positive? When you focus on being happy and motivated, that is who you will be. Go and be that person today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.